India is the world's fastest growing fantasy sports market as per a report by the Federation of Indian Fantasy Sports and Deloitte India. So first let's just understand what is fantasy sports. Now a fantasy sport is a game often played online where participants can assemble virtual teams as proxies for real players of a professional sport. The player earns points based on real life statistics that are converted into fantasy points. The better the player performs, the higher are the fantasy points. The report says that with over 300 fantasy sports platforms and 18 crore users, India is the fastest growing fantasy sports market in the world. And also says that while India's fantasy sports market attracted 15,000 crore foreign direct investment till FY22, it is expected to touch 25,000 crores by FY27. Now, interestingly, 60% of user transactions on the fantasy sports platforms have come from tier 2 and tier 3 cities. And GST contribution from fantasy sports industry is expected to increase by five times in the next five years. The report also highlights the contribution of the industry to jobs, non-cricket sports and the participation of women in sports. The legality of such business models has been constantly questioned by the courts. They have held fantasy as predominantly skill-based and not a game of chance. The latter, remember, qualifies as gambling under Section 12 of the Public Gambling Act. Now, the Federation of Indian Fantasy Sports, India's only self-governing body for fantasy sport, has welcomed regulations for the online gaming industry in the Union Budget 2023 and of course the appointment of the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology as the nodal ministry for skill-based online games and changing policy landscape in a sense for the industry. From April 1st, gamers will have to pay 30% tax on their net winnings annually. Earlier, the tax was deducted with each win.